And welcome back to this week of the Bog Valley. It's time now for the Central New York Travel Show portion of today's program. And we say good morning to Sarah Foster from Monada County Tourism. Hello, Sarah. How are you? Good. How are you? Great. We're going to talk about a uh, big hockey tournament coming to Utica. <clears throat> yes, we are. We are joined today by Dave Fontaine, who is the Director of Athletics with Utica College. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, we have something really cool happening in Utica this coming weekend. Let's go. It'll be really exciting. We are hosting the NCAA Division Three Men's National Ice Hockey Championship right here in Utica. So we're partnering with the Utica Auditorium, but Utica College is the host, and uh, we're excited to have it, honored to have it here in Utica. It'll be a great event for uh, the teams participating, also for the community. Yeah, so um, is this the first time that we've been hosting this tournament that Utica, Utica College, I guess, has? Yeah, this is the first time Utica College has actually hosted a national tournament. So uh, we're, we're breaking our way in here with uh, ice hockey and no better venue to do it in, in, the, in the auditorium. So yeah. we're real confident that the, the, you know whoever makes the, the, the last four teams will have a great experience here in Utica. I know our teams, our men and women's hockey teams, have a great experience throughout the year. Uh, we're, we're arguably the best venue in Division Three at the odd, and uh, we're uh, hoping that the, those coming in will feel the same thing we feel throughout the season. Yeah, I feel bad for teams that don't have the Utica on. No, I know. <laughs> the it's, energy it's, is crazy in it's, there. It's definitely an advantage when you go out into the ice, and uh, you know, especially for our men's team that gets near 3,000 people That's for awesome. a home game, that extra energy is you can certainly feel it throughout the odd and uh and our women love playing it as well we had a playoff game for our women there was a, a nice crowd for our women too and they certainly commented in the office uh, afterwards in our department that uh, you know the noise and the energy was really exciting for them so uh, we're real confident that uh, our, the, our teams visiting from out of town will feel that same thing now what's the process like to get the tournament do you does the ncaa solicit bids do you give them a proposal how does that work so yeah they open up a window where we can actually bid to have to host a tournament and then you're selected and it happens once every five years four years or so something like that so we're honored to be selected in the past you know it's been in, at Lake Placid in 2013 I believe we participated in it was a, at Lake Placid which is a historic site of course with uh, the 1980 Olympic team having played there but it's you know the venue at Lake Placid is huge so even if you get you know a couple of thousand people it seats 20,000 so it feels oh pretty empty so we know that at the odd, when you when you have two or three thousand people there, it's going to feel full. It's going to be Too electric loud. for everybody. Yeah, yeah. you know, like a, a Comets game and, <clears throat> and one of our men's games. It's just exciting. It's got a lot of excitement there. So, well, so it's hard for me to not think from a tour tourism perspective as well. This is um, you're bringing in teams that are from all over. Yeah. Right. So they're going to be coming to the area. Their families, their friends. They're going to be staying in our hotels, eating in our restaurants, spending their money locally, which is awesome. Um, I, I mean, what do you think it means for the area? I think it's great to expose the area to outside people anytime you can. You know, you have prospective student athletes. You have families that want a place to visit in the future. I know uh, the United County Executive, Anthony Pacenti, just laid out some plans to make uh, an area of tourism and entertainment and, and sports downtown. So all that's real positive. And to get more people to Utica and get them exposed to what we can offer, it's only a good thing. So we're looking forward to it and you mentioned there'll be teams from out of town there are going to mm -hmm. be teams from out of town there we're, we're hoping that one of our local teams Hamilton College they're still in the mix so hopefully they can they can make it through the next round and be in that uh, in that group of four that that, uh, that that plays at the odd on the 24th and 25th so we're we're pulling for them too good that's awesome yeah. um so the tournament uh, Friday and Saturday. So is it the semifinals and championship Saturday? Yeah, there'll be two games on Friday night. I believe there's 3.30 and 6.30, and the championship game will be 7 o'clock on the 25th. And tickets, uh, you can go to EmpireStateTix.com, or you can go down to the yacht if you're local. T tickets for all three games are $40. It's a package, or $25 per individual game. So I think we've sold maybe four or 500 tickets so far, all, all session passes, so that's definitely good. And and uh, we're expecting more, and certainly I'm sure there'll be a spike if uh, one of our local teams gets in for sure. So besides providing the venue, what are some of the other things the college is providing as the host college? Well, we're providing the manpower behind it. Anything that's uh, that the NCAA needs, uh, it's all of our grouping uh, in athletics that'll be doing that from coaching staff, some players. Uh, Gil Bergmaster, Jim Renane have been really big uh, pieces in this puzzle. You know, I get to I get to talk to you folks and uh, get to do the interviews, but uh, the work behind the scenes is really done by Gil and Jim and Laurel Simer uh, out of our sports information department. There's a lot of work to be done. We've had conference calls with the NCAA, uh, and we'll have our last conference call. Well. 
uh, before they, they, the four teams are selected. We'll have the uh, last conference call this coming Thursday. You know, there's a lot of details to be covered. They're pretty scripted. The NCAA has done this once or twice before. Yeah. So they bring their plan <coughs> to us and we execute it. But it's all of our staffing that actually does that. And now that you get to host one tournament, maybe this could become maybe every three or four years a regular stop on the on the NCAA schedule. I mean, we're hoping so. You know, we're, you know, if they have a great experience, uh, then hopefully they'll think of us the next time these these uh, opportunities arise. And you know, we're we're right in the middle of New York State. We're mm -hmm. an hour from two major airports. Uh, it's easy to get to off the throughway. So a lot of positives, you know, uh, not to take anything away from the other venues have had uh, that have the, had the opportunity, but sometimes it's a little cumbersome to travel to some of these places and, and not as easy to get to. We think Utica and the Odd is a great place to play and a great place, an easy place to get to. Yeah, so. well, it's one of the few cities directly off the thruway. Yeah, it's usually it's, you have to hop on a highway. So it's, it's great. Yeah, yeah. Um, so it, you mentioned it before, but again, if people want to buy tickets for either game, what is the best way to go about that? They can go to EmpireStateTix.com. They can buy tickets right online, or for the local people, they can go right down to the Odd Box office and purchase them there. Okay, and what are the times of the games on Friday and Saturday? So uh, they're at three o'clock and six o'clock. Uh, 6 30 i'm sorry 3 and 6 30 on friday and then seven o'clock the championship game i think i misspoke a little bit earlier so uh three and 6 30 on friday seven uh seven o'clock on saturday for the championship yeah and i mean this is like we're encouraging local people like go out if you want to see great hockey this is the time to do it it'll be the best four teams in division three in the country will be playing right here in utica i know utica is a great hockey town yeah and the surrounding <laughs> utica areas. Loves hockey. utica loves hockey and yeah. i know that we'll great get a, a a great showing down at the odd not to mention those who are coming from out of town and bringing their fans with us uh, yeah, with them so. where are, um I, I know we kind of briefly talked about it but where are some of these teams from i know you mentioned hamilton College, yeah so hamilton and norwich are still in the mix right now trinity okay. and endicott augsburg and st norberg stevens point adrian there's four teams from the east and four teams from the west okay so uh you know obviously selfishly we're pulling for the east teams to, to make it and, yeah. and that's why i mentioned hamilton being a, a right up uh, right up the road from us i'm sure they'll travel well and bring their fan base but uh you know uh, we wish good luck to of course all the teams yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Um, and again, if people want information, what's the best way to get all information? Uh, they can go right to the NCAA website. There's uh, you know NCAA.org, and there they can pull up the uh, Division Three Men's na uh, National Ice Hockey Championship. That will be uh, probably the best place to go. And, and like I say, for tickets, just right down at the odd. Perfect. Yeah. And uh, are the student tickets, is there something with them? Uh, it's uh, I believe it's just a, a, a flat rate of the forty dollars for the uh, the uh, all all session and twenty five for individual games. Okay. Perfect. So, yeah. Thank you. And we also we put the website on our inf or we put the information on our website. So NidaCountyTourism dot com. We have that listed on the events tab. So yep. if people want to then link over to your site, they can do that too. Or NCAA. That's great. We definitely appreciate it. It's been you know it really has been a pleasure working with the Odd. This is the first time in a lot of years they've hosted a, a championship of this sort. But they've got great experience, obviously, with the pro team and the Comets and hosting the uh, AHL All Star Game. So you'll see a different looking Odd. Yeah. Uh, when you come when it comes to the the uh the national championship the ice will be all branded in the ncaa logos all the dasher boards will have uh will be pretty clean with just the four teams that are participating so it'll be a different look for the auditorium and uh we're really looking forward to it yeah so get your tickets march 24th and 25th and uh go watch some good hockey it'll be great yeah we appreciate all of your support as well yeah thanks Steve. thank you